Question 21 is to draw the net for the given three-dimensional figure. Here we can see we have a prism. And which type of prism is this? We can see it's a rectangular prism because the base and the width are not same. So first what you need to do is, best way to draw a net is to start with the base. Now what, what is this net? It's like imagine you're cutting this open, you're cutting it somewhere open, and you're putting all these, you know, these sides on the surface. See now the base would be something like this, isn't it? Then you're cutting the next side open and opening it up. And then the above side you're cutting and opening it up and the last side. So this would be one, the face which you're just seeing from here is two, the above face is three and the behind face is four. So that will be something four like this, four rectangular uh, surfaces. And then can you see the sides are also there? So you can, uh, if you have say, open this up here in the first place itself, that would have come over here. Okay, this part. So that is like three and three, or you can draw it in the left side, it's fine. And then you can draw the other side also over here itself. You can say, open up this one over here and this one over here down itself. But generally what we do is, we start with this base and open it up. Then one, two, three, four, and the last one, we keep the other one at the other side. So this is how we do it. And this is six, three, three. Over here it's three, over here it's three. My drawings are not that accurate. Now let's see the actual drawings. You can see the base over here is six and three feet. And then you can open up all the other surfaces. These are all the rectangular surfaces. And then you can add up the sides, the square sides. So this is how we get the, you know, the net for any solid object. It was similar. Now mine is not, so, I mean, this is only the difference, but that's fine. You know, this and this, it's fine. Now, as long as you're drawn this or this, you will get the full marks. Now here we have a circle and then we have a cylinder. So what we can do is see when you open up this, now imagine you cut it out over here and you open up, it's going to be the circle, it'll be a like flat thing, right? Because imagine you cut the sides open, but what about this top surface? That will be a circle no matter what, but then you will cut this out open, you'll get something like this and then one more circle at the bottom. So this is how it might look. And you can see over here, there is a circle. Obviously, this cannot be changed. That will be a circle surface. And then you open up this. Imagine you open it up. Now, I have done a little bit wrong because when you open it up, now we need to use our imagination over here. So this part remains, this over here only. That's the circle. And then imagine you start opening this. Uh, okay, whatever we did is also absolutely right, no problem. Now they are telling, they will just open it up like this, you know, like the down part, downwards. This cylinder part, cut it, it's something like this, right? You cut it open and then you open it up, the side and the side. I hope you're getting uh, how we do this. And then what we do is basically, there is one more base, right? So there's one more circle. So you can try opening up a cylinder or see a plastic bottle, which is not so cylindrical, but still when you open it up, you will get a rectangular shape. So this is how we do this. And all the others are just the same. This is a square prism. So we can easily do this up, do the squares first and then the sides. And that's the answer. What about a cone? Now, a cone will have a circle, obviously it's having a circular ba base over here, but what about this part? Now that's not going to be straight, so this part doesn't matter what, it'll be something like this, right? Even if you cut it any part, it's going to be something like this. It's not a cylinder, okay? So please remember, it'll be something like this.
Uh, it depends on the dimensions. This is 8 inches and this is however long it is. It won't be a circle, obviously, because when you open it up, if you have a cone, just cut it out and open it up and you will realize this is what you can see. Now, this is again a cone itself, you know, same thing what we just now did, but this is a real world. And now you can see here it's like too big, you know, because uh, this is sort of a tent and you will get a big, bigger bigger circle that's the only difference and over here it's 12 feet and the diameter is 20 feet and over here this the outer part is not considered only the circular base is considered this circle and the thickness over here is given as two inches and then the bottom so you will have a circle and then a, a rectangle and then a circle again we have done this already so if you're thinking how is this see this is the circular base then this part can you see this thin part right it's two inches so that is opened up and then again the diameter of this is five inches so that's it this is just a simple understanding problem please try to understand how you're opening up the solid figures and then you can easily solve it up and there we have reached the end of the writing part of the eot i hope you have found it helpful Please do share my videos with your friends and your classmates. If you have benefited from these, please do hit the like button. Practice all the problems by working out yourselves. And if you have any doubts, post them in the comments and I will get back to you very soon. Take care, guys. I wish you all all the best and happy learning.